everybody. Welcome back to my channel for another episode of the Not So Berry Challenge. So today we are here at work. I played one day um, um, outside, like um, off camera. And while she was at the, the crime, not the crime scene. No, it was the crime scene. Um, she met someone. His name's Oliver, and he's a co-worker of hers, but I didn't see him here. So I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea where he is, but he is... Uh, so she, they, they just, she was on the crime scene, and, um... I just walked up to her, and he was very cute, but I don't know why he isn't here, because he is a detective, and she does find him to be extremely attractive as well, so... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I forgot I needed to get a case assignment. <laughs> okay, so on my phone I just have the Nasaberry Challenge rules um, for Generation 8. Marry a co-worker, must play an instrument, master gourmet cooking and comedy skills, master detective career, must live in a different world than where the one he, she was raised. We are currently living in a world we just cannot ever move into Oasis Springs, so we'll just make sure to do that. Um... I just need to work on comedy and gourmet cooking skills. There's not, that's like a, that's kind of one of the most boring generations so far. Apparently they were fighting. Assuming since I can give him a citation, that means that he started a fight. And by their body language. Alright, I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. I don't know if we only have two generations. Like, her child and then one more. We got green and blue. Okay. Get a case assignment is what I meant to click on, not go on patrol. That was my bad. I hit the wrong thing. Why is there only one person here? Okay, well. I got promoted to senior detective. Oh, look at my outfit. I don't care. I do not care. Let me go home. Go home! Oh my god, I can't leave because of the stupid death? That's so dumb. I don't give a shit that she's dying. I don't care who it is. Well. I like Oliver. And she finds him to be extremely attractive. 
that one other coworker we have, the one with the, I don't remember his name, the guy that's like darker skin and has like blonde hair and blue eyes, I don't remember his name, she likes, I don't, well, okay, I, I like him, we'll see what she thinks about him and then we can figure out, she's more attracted to Oliver, which, she's extremely attractive, which is the highest you can get, this guy, basic looking she finds him basic looking and he's married too so okay so i guess we could maybe go out on a date with oliver and let's just have her go take a bath real fast because taking care of them kind of sucks to be honest okay well does she work tomorrow she doesn't so she has the next two days off so maybe we can have her go on a date with him tomorrow so it's pretty late right now and she still has some things she has to do. I, okay, this is really annoying because I'm technically on this area. I get notifications for the this, but like I don't give a shit about it. Okay, so yeah, well definitely that's what we'll do tomorrow is do that. Ask him out on a date tomorrow because... whatever okay because she wants to get to know him and she needs we need to marry a co-worker and he is a co-worker i want i don't think i don't know if it yeah co-workers and then she must play an instrument so what piano is four so i i don't remember if i said this already but i feel like six would be a pretty decent nothing um and then her comedy needs to be all the way up hers is like almost six so that's not too bad either she's doing really good with that it's not like perfect but it's not that bad either like it's pretty self-explanatory and she doesn't have the gourmet cooking but that should take shouldn't take too long why did you change it you don't work today Alrighty, so it is one o'clock. We are going to have. Oh, we're going to invite Oliver. Out. I did change up her outfit. I just did it off camera because it just would have taken too long. Otherwise. So this is not a romantic outing. It's not a date. They're just going out because she, he wants, you know, he wants to, she wants to spend time with him. And he wants to spend time with her, I guess. All right, so here he is. Some of you may recognize him. Some of you may not. I really don't want to start this conversation with the ghost. Too. No, don't leave. So she has the thing where she should be able to learn all of his traits. You can't wander maze together. Maybe because I'm not in a group. I don't know, she's going to a dead end. She heard me.
Where'd Oliver go? All right, so Oliver had to run. Um, but the thing is, is like, so she really likes him. She's thinks he's very cute. They're both foodies, which is great. Um, and stuff, but he had a wedding ring. And so she asked, she's like, oh, are you single? And he said that he was, but she, she didn't know how to bring up the wedding ring. It's not like he like is trying to hide that he was wearing it. Like it wasn't. So then she's wondering if like, and he didn't seem like guilty when he said anything about being single and you know, so she's like, maybe he just wears a ring on that ring finger. She's like, it's very, now maybe he just wears a silver ring there. Like that doesn't mean anything, you know, it doesn't mean that he is married and he's cheating or not that what was going on was cheating. It was purely friendly. She's not ready for the romantic yet. Um, but she doesn't want to be a home wrecker either. And so she definitely doesn't need to bring that up to him. Um, but she also doesn't want to be that crazy woman who gets upset who, like, you know, not about getting upset to find out the person you're on a date with is married. Like, I would be upset, too. But she does, she's not sure how, what to do. She's attracted to him, but she doesn't want to be a homewrecker. So she's debating if she should call him, like, tomorrow or, or what, you know. She learned gourmet cooking. Okay, so she's I'm gonna have her work on her comedy skill. Alright. So she's gonna have her thing up until level six. I'm just gonna have her work on that until then. I'm just gonna have her call up her family. We'll talk to them in a minute. See how they are what they're up to, you know. Why do I care? Why do I care? Why does that pop up? It's very annoying. I feel like that should only pop up if it's like the household. Oh, she got level six. I don't even see. Chrisetha can now compose and perform medium routines at the computer and microphone, respectively. She is also more likely to be unaffected by an annoying heckler. Oliver. <gasps> so this is gonna sound crazy. I know we're friends and all, but well, okay, here it goes. I have a crush on you. Phew, okay, it's out there now. Um, so would you want to go out with me sometime? You're super cool. Yes, let's go on a date. Wow, really? That's so awesome. Oh, I'm so happy I worked with the courage to ask. Let me know what works for you and we'll go out. I'm just going to have her talk to her family real fast. And I guess maybe she's not hungry. So I'd like them to go out on a date, but she's not like go out and eat. She's not hungry. Okay, well, I want her to go on a date, but she's not uh, hungry. So I don't know. It's getting late and I know what I don't. I mean, not that like she has to go anywhere to eat but it's just that like they can go do something else they don't even have to go today technically but I kind of want whoops wrong one I, yeah, okay, I do have a little bit of a romantic thing with him now. He said no. That's one thing about mods is, like, there's, like, situations like that where it's, like, he... I may have, uh, cheated and looked in his thing, but he finds her extremely attractive, too. And he, you know, 
called and said, hey, I have a crush on you, let's go on a date. That has to do with the Wonderful Whims um, thing. That is why. Um, you're not hungry. So that is why that is a thing. Um, so it's just kind of strange that like he's just like, nah, that he wouldn't want to go out with her. I'm just gonna have her work on her thing, and I guess we'll go do another day of work tomorrow. Maybe we can try to go on a date again. Maybe he just couldn't go. Maybe he's like, no, I, I'm sorry, it doesn't work for me right now. And she just got embarrassed because she got up her courage to ask him, and he ended up not being able to go. Alright, let's head on to work, and then we'll see how things are after work, and maybe go on a date with Oliver. Okay, at work, again, is Oliver here this time? There is no Oliver. The heck, are you serious? He got off. I think it's just so funny that you can use the old evidence from the old case on the new one. It just doesn't make sense. A young adult male. Okay, we're gonna go to crime scene and get actual evidence. Yes, I know how a crime scene works. I've done it hundreds of times. Anything outside? New. Sonia, that's my best friend. Alrighty, let's add some clues, I guess. It's a redhead male. Alright, so we're going to end the shift, and then as soon as we get back, I'm just going to ask Oliver out. I'm not going to ask him on a date. It obviously didn't work out well because of the way the system works, but I am going to ask him out. We're going to pretend that she's asking him out on a date, and he's going to come. I hope. Okay, and if he doesn't end up wanting to come with us, then I guess we'll take mom. There he is. I was like, what happened to him? Let's go. She's filming Italian, and they're both foodie, so it makes sense that they go to, like, a really nice restaurant, right? And she can afford it, because she's rolling in the bank. See, he has a wedding ring. But this is a date, and he agreed to go, and so she's... Just a little, like, worried because she really doesn't want to overstep. But, um, she also really likes this guy. But she's also terrified that he's you know, married. So she's going to bring it up. She flirted with him all on her own. She's going to ask him about his love life. Like, be, hey, I see that you have a wedding ring. And he's like, and then this is where he tells her that he was married before, but his wife had tragically passed away. And he has a daughter. He has a two-year-old daughter. Which she's like, oh, that's, um makes a lot of sense and I'm sorry for your loss and you know I, I like I'm that doesn't really me having a daughter doesn't change anything about this okay so she feels a lot better knowing that she's not home wrecking anything that is a lot of blush my dude that is too much 
you know, and, like, he doesn't seem too, like, sad about it. He's like, I, like, you know, he's like, I've had time to mourn her death, so it's whatever. Like, you know, it happened, and, you know, I'm sad about it, and I miss her, but... I like very revealing outfits. Okay. I kind of want them to just go with Homer Uh, they, let's just say that they ran to the convenience store on the way, if you'll freaking load. So let's just say they ran to the grocery store or the convenience store, whatever, just real fast on their way to her house. The lighting is so yellow. Okay, I'm gonna send him home because he has—he does have a toddler at home, so we're gonna be like he had a babysitter, but he has to go back now. Um, but I feel like that's going to be the end of this episode. So if you enjoyed, please do like, comment down below what you thought, what you'd like to see next, and subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye, guys.